there's a saying that we say in Lebanon. You tell someone, my dad says that a lot, he says, which literally means, open up your heart to me. What you heard at Sola, that was my, my project with my own music, which uh, I have recorded in just one album for, for now, and I'm working on the second. There is where I show myself more like what, what I am or who I am, you know. And it's a mixture of many things. So basically I play the flamenco guitar, but it's not flamenco, though it's heavily influenced by the technique. <laughs> I've been a, a lonely player all my life since I, w I started playing very early and then I, I was playing on my own, I was studying on my own, I was uh, always doing music. You know, many hours I've, I've accumulated doing this. So yeah, when I was 16 I started playing with, you know, grown-up artists already and then I began playing gigs with them and knowing the gig life and what this is and earning my, my, my money and stuff. But then all these years playing gigs with them, I, I would still consider myself a player, you know, autonomous player. I can, this is what I do, you know. Yeah. I only go on stage for some hours, then the rest of my life is playing also. So then I just decided to create my own things or to gather some of the ones that I had already composed and then just do an album mm. with this. I recorded the album in Curvera, near Barcelona, in a studio called The Sound of Wood. Aniol is the sound engineer and he's a good friend and we recorded the first album together. And now I'm doing some new sessions for the new album. I would just say new Spanish guitar music. I'm influenced by the instrument also, you know, with all the possibilities that it has. Mm -hmm. I love to play pop music, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I produced uh, three albums for other people. One of them, the last one, is really, you know, sounds like pop music. It does, you know. It is like uh, a lot of uh, electric stuff going on and. Also, this I like to blend, you know, the, the, the wood. This is more 
the others are also made of wood, but I mean the vibrating wood, like for real, which I don't really like with uh, the electric sound. Last thing, the photo of your album. Tell us about that. One day I was looking about uh, information about Paco de Lucia's hands, because, you know, I'm, I'm quite crazy about him and I'm, I'm mad about, you know, being a guitar player, your, your nails have to be perfectly sanded. It's quite a... I will never learn, I'm learning all the time, but I will never know how to do it properly. But then I, um, I would Google Paco Lucia hands, and this image came up with because his hands like this, <laughs> you know, same. And then I got the idea, like, I really like this picture, and it was a really good shot. I was talking to Mai Rodriguez, who is the great photographer that did the shot. I told him about the idea, and then immediately he said, okay, I like the idea, but then your name has to be written on the hand. It is actually written there.